substrates we use with our unique system, this is, now write this down, key formula number one. Well, you're going to need some mixing bins, you're going to see this just in a few moments. You need a high grade cocoa fiber mix. Now, it was a lady on Facebook that I, I used Mel Bartholomew's three part mix, and it was P, vermiculite, and compost. And I tell people, you know, I want uh, your advice. And she says, don't use peat no more, John. I listen to her. Because it's not a renewable resource. If we're going to be trainers. I didn't like it at first. My flesh didn't like it, but who cares? You know, I said, you know what? That woman is completely right. And so I thanked her on Facebook just last week that she got me into this because we had to go on a journey to learn about cocoa fiber to make a long story short all cocoa fiber is not cocoa fiber it took us a long time well over two years to be able to locate this we had to become a, be a business to be able to buy this it's from Sri Lanka it's low dust it's high density fiber from a cocoa husk and it has very very low like I said salt neutral pH and this rehydrates, we're going to show you right in a few moments, uh, right now, probably, how to rehydrate a cocoa block. This rehydrates just like your polymers, okay?